and I will come back home. If you don't do here Shopify and uh, you don't do the thing, say, oh, now just for people to come make website, you are wrong. Because Shopify now, please, we'll say, as developer, you say, feed the cash out. So Shopify now, one of the few companies, we'll say, I believe, say, people feel they build on top of them, I feel they sell, and Shopify could take small money inside them, and you say, could take small money inside them. You could sell products, and you could make your money as a developer, and you could provide your services for Shopify customers. So that's now what you're supposed to do if you want to focus on Shopify. And uh, Shopify uh, website, if you come here, you can see, say, you get other things where if you get as a Shopify owner. But when you want to be a developer, you will get another thing where you're going to need to do to be as a Shopify developer. Now, if you want to provide your services for Shopify, it will make sense, make you be a Shopify partner, which means you could come to this domain for here. We call this site um, shopify.com slash partners. If you come here, you go can register to be a Shopify partner. And the thing say we here, you go to quickly they create Shopify stores for uh, merchants and you go to manage them and you go to feel they transfer them and you go to do all those kind of things. Uh, if you never create an account, just create join. Me, I don't already get an account, so I could just click login. So if you come here, come login. So if you don't log into your dashboard, you go see say you don't reach this side of your screen. Now, don't worry if uh, I get many apps for here. So if you come stores, stores now, the stores where we say you don't build for Shopify. All right. So this now all the stores where I don't build. Now, anyone where go day, if you saw them by development, the ones where they develop or the ones where even self where we say if client one give you access to RAM, then not the one like where they manage. If client gives you access to such sites, and at that time where we say you go feed them and collaborate on top of the site or for other people website right so another thing we say if you do for here we say if you also come here um into the apps and uh, shopify get apps apps now like plugins for now where they don't come from wordpress apps just be like plugins and the team say you, your apps could increase your uh stores functionality let's say you want app we're going to you know uh, help you today work with ai or you want app we're going to help you today convert cryptocurrencies and stuff like that now all those things you're going to install apps or plugins today improve your store but the idea we say if you come here and if you also add your own apps if you also build your own apps based on shopify and uh, with those same apps if you just come here click new apps i'm not going to do all these ones for here because now if you explore this one by reading the documentation i go drop link for the description this is not just to give an, an overview about shopify and uh, making again an idea and they comfortable when they work with uh, shopify so for the inside here now if you go to teams teams just be like also again wordpress we say with now the ui or what's in our eyes to see and uh, how they set them how they configure them we go work with the team now and the idea we say if you build your own and you also sell your theme like evanto stores or evanto marketplace you feel they sell your uh themes for those kind of stores there all right so uh if you also do the affiliate ma um, program but me i never do those ones uh if you do payout if you also do shopify pos if you get your service and if you do partners resources so all these things now to help you as a partner to they run your site or to they run your partnership business much easier so we could go back into the home and waiting one we say one create a new store so i could just click new store and since we know they request access to any client store for here we could just click we want to create a new store we go ask us some questions here so we could just answer these questions one by one so we could say yes we just they create the store to test and build right if you just say you want this one but if you say you want to create the store for a client then you will go also maybe like need to uh, transfer the ownership of the store to the client right if you do shopify app development i want to test your app or your team that and where if you they you know they run all these tests and build so if you just say you build them for a client it no matter and it will ask you say waiting with the store name if you just call this store uh niger store house if you don't like this it's unavailable make i say my niger shop so if you give them so you see say many of those names where we don't type they're plenty already so um if you just give them this name my ninja shop uh anytime now the url for this shop will be my ninja shop dot my shopify dot com all right so this is not just demo site if you pay for um shopify go comfy let you um add your own custom domain but since we we just they build this one for the clients we feel build them like this and then we feel send the clients a demo of what they build so if you just come say this business day niger and then also if you come here so if you just say no 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 there's no physical store and all those kind of things so once i click on like this this will help me create this store for here so so it will just take a while for the store to build and make it run arm and then we go enter into the store when you build and finish confirm 
So this now the store where you don't help us arrange for here. So and even when you pay for Shopify, now waiting you go to see this. You go to see this dashboard or we call this the admin, the admin screen. Now here where you go to control everything we need to do with your Shopify. So Shopify already give us this startup guide and uh, make I just quickly explain waiting with the see for here. So if you look here, you can see say we get this uh, task where we suppose finish. So if you customize your theme, so we just click there, customize thing, make we follow this wizard and uh, the wizard go wrong. So you go say make we pick a theme and currently the default theme now done. This done now the default theme for the new Shopify theme. But if it gets any of the other things, make I just close this one here. So if you get any of these other themes where they here, anyone where you like, if you pick them and then if you just redesign them to the way where you like them. But normally most of us we always they use this done theme for here. So if you just say okay, oh, now done you want. So you want customize this done. So I can say customize. And this now the Shopify customizer. And now here we're going to do most of your design or UI work for here, for this uh, Shopify customizer. And now here we we'll say, if you even just test your whole design and how they work for here. So for example, if you just change this name, this name for here, uh, if you change um, um, the position, if you do all the settings for the side for here, if you put your announcement bar, then at this bar for here, now the announcement bar, if you also hide them. So if you see, click here, you will see say, if you hide them. And if you see all the other values. So if you want to change like the text for inside this announcement bar what you can do is say you could just come here and then you go click this text for there now this will give you access to this website if you change the announcement bar text for here so if you just say welcome to our uh make a make a ninja shop okay and just like that we they change that text if you also add link if you want me the link link to a collection product all these things no worry i'll go explain this ones very soon but one very important thing we go like no now also the connect with data source this one now all the things where they into your sites where they the back end where they your database now you want link dynamically to this kind of thing so this now all these very important thing, concepts where you need to learn about shopify all right if you're serious about using shopify now if you look here you will see say we get this menu for here i'm gonna like just preview them well if you click on this icon where they here you can see what this icon will do it will give us different modes so it will give us the full screen mode then the way it will look on top of a computer so this is a that icon where they here don't clear that now because on the computer now so the site could be on the full screen mode on your desktop because of this screen where they like this that now why so what i always do be say i just hold control and i go um scroll down this will help me to zoom out or if you just now it is the browser uh if you just zoom out of your browser and it will give you this much real estate okay so that you're going to see the full view so the mobile view if you come here of course now this one where this icon they show all right so that now how this they work for us okay so if we if you scroll down so if you click the button you can see say this button here if you change the text so if you say shop all now and if you just add some text there this go add that text to this design for here and then once you look here you can see say we get this all products for here these products now just all to show all the products for our store so which means you want carry and go the page where you're going to show all the products for the store you understand so the thing gets a settings where we say if you click this if this is not true or this is not false and they talk in technical terms then go to show the button as outline or as button so if you say use outline button style that means if you want to use them so click them so if you click them this will give us this kind button which now this outline button right so that's all it be and uh, if we look here you can see say this now all the products where they and because of the location where we set the store which means if you build the store for anywhere for the world and once you build them based on that location it will come give the um, amount or the currency of that location of that city or that country where you choose right so that's how it will work so make we go back and what I would like to do is say, I want first pump this thing come up for here. I go make them big. Now for big now, we could just go back more for that button. I make we inspect what thing we see for here. So so if you look for here, you can see say we get all these sections. Now section now like another thing where we want. You see this plus here? So if you add different kind sections where you want. So if you want the add header section or add section to the header, you feel add. If you add section to the template, then at this template, you feel add. So if you just come here also, if you just click say you want a new section. And then you can see this option where they tell you say, you you get this uh, custom liquid. What is the custom liquid? Liquid now just um, templating language where Shopify team don't build for us so that we fit a right like some kind of templating language code. For example, I just show now the checkbox where we say for the button, if not true, it go do something. But if now false or if now if we not tick that place, it go show us the few button. So that now waiting if we do with liquid, if we do much more with liquid, but this now waiting liquid they help us they do for here. So if you come into um 
the footer make we see the footer and you see the footer we get this uh, custom footer where if you collect your email address so if you change this text if you just say okay oh well, you want to make the email maybe if you say make this emails make it they bold and you're going to make only just this email text here bold for here if you do all sorts of other things but what i go like show now here so make we come here and then if you click here and for here you could get these options from these three dots for here you get the option to edit the code you get the ed option to edit the theme that now the default theme which now this one will they use i get the option to view them you also if you view the documentation from here and of course if you ask for support for here now if you want to preview this um site you're gonna need to say you want to view this site but you to see all these changes so make i show you if you come view you go open the store but if you notice now the old text we they here now in the show so they show us this old text here you know they give us even for the footer you know they even give us this one here now because we never save the changes make no go don't notice so if we guys come back the design uh, editor and press save for here and this will give us uh the option to save our uh changes for here now if we want to edit something for here let's say we want to edit the code uh i'm gonna take duam well you can just come here click on this and then you go come the edit code so make we first edit this code the load so this is now the shopify theme editor and this one just be like if you upload them for vs code and if you edit this file even all this code for here if you edit them for vs code so when you don't they build your own custom thing now that time where you're going to work with this kind um code for here so make i quickly explain waiting with the c for here so the layout now of course now the layout for all our code now they contain all our password.liquid and team.liquid all these ones now the things we'll be saying now the templates we'll be saying like the default settings where they see for here now i know that this video day about shopify and you know they about liquid so i'm not going to explain this liquid syntax for you and how do they use if and else statements on top of your liquid component so but one thing what i would like to explain they say but the sections now here will be very interesting because now here for inside these sections now here we will see parts of our code so make we go for like one we don't work with the announcement bar and this is not the announcement bar component i they see say we they add we just they use a liquid they add our css and we just they use liquid code to they set up all the conditions we say hey if something don't settle then do like this if you never settle then show like that so that and all where we they do for this section side of course if you say you want to explore more now they very free to explore all these sections for the section side more if you now want to see full video on liquid make gonna let me know and then we will do one small video about that of course we get the config for folder you know to touch all these other things also no to stress about them but the idea to say if your client get custom needs and custom demand now that time we will need to they come into this shopify uh, text editor and this text editor as i don't tell you now on i go feel even run out on top your vs code but you're gonna need to know how you want to take run at home so make we just exit them and uh make we check our store again if you just refresh this page all right so as you don't refresh i mean they see say now you don't they show this our shop ninja shop and they don't they show this one for here so we could go back into the dashboard the admin dashboard so make we go to the home and we don't do this one another thing if you do is say if you add pages and pages now just like wordpress now where they come from there now just ways we say if you add page to our website for here so if you want access this contact page you're going to come here back into the editor you go get all these options for here these options for here now here where if they run all all the things where you want all the pages where you want all the things where you want to do on top of your page so you could come here you see say you get this page here so if you come to this page you can see say we go get different pages now the page where we get here now the contact page so if you click on it will carry us go into the contact page so this is now the contact page the any page where we add for here if we add a new page say um like a faq page and frequently asked question page you go get that faq page for on top uh, uh this section so if you come here pages you go get the faq for here also there's so much much options where if you do where i know go fi explain all of them for now but i just want more that they comfortable with this kind of concepts of working inside the admin dashboard and then com being comfortable with say if you build or design something for somebody and they go pay you for them right so if you just create a new page make we see whatever we do and then make we just call this page faq right so we're just gonna faq and this is not just our frequently asked questions so once i don't like this now you can see say we get this option of seo for here and this option for seo here just me say if you want to put some seo settings we don't go touch seo it also if you now want to learn more about seo want to let me know my drop of some video for now about seo and uh, if you want to know about how you go take the edit shopify seo also make gonna let me know so that i go feed drop video for now about shopify seo 
And uh, what we could do for you, say, if you just come here with this rich editor, if you change the text, if you do anything you want, if you change the text heading, say you want it like that, if you come here, say you want to make this one day bold, uh, what else again, if you do, if you do all sorts of things for this text editor, if you also show them as HTML, so if you click on, you see, say we get this HTML tags for here, on a way good day, comfortable HTML. If you feel they use HTML, they do all sorts of things. For example, if you they say you want a break, so we say BR, and if you add a break point over there, because it's self-closing, so you can see, say it could give us a preview, so it is say it don't jump to this hour for here if i select i don't have two times so if i uh this is not a very common thing today today do when they work with um rich editors so you could just say oh you want to do this two three times it will break the code two three times so even though you know the same here it did there because we don't write html so that's why html they're very important if you want to work with all these kind of things if they do that one also and with this now you're going to create custom solutions for your clients so if you press save here and uh, make we see if you press save that page could create and shopify go say we don't pass this question for here all right the other thing what if you do is say you want to organize your navigation store or your store navigation this store navigation are just our menu with the top so you get two kinds of menu the footer menu and the main menu the footer menu not just the one we receive for the footer make i show you then at this one for here make i close this uh wait eh? okay so they, we know they display the footer menu here right um but we get this one this main menu because the footer menu could just be this search right so what we do for here we say we get this what home catalog and we get contacts which are exact same thing that we get for our own home catalog and contact so these things they very easy way we say we feel they run them anyhow way we want of course if you want edit them if you create your own menu but if you want to edit the menu if you just say okay well, since you want to edit the menu make you put the menu like this come menu and if you even add that our faq page so make we add that our faq page for here so if you say you want to add a new menu item uh, faq so this faq we go can see where it is linked to and of course it is linked to a page so google pages and you go look for all the pages then we go add our faq page for there so once we click click add it go add that faq to this list and of course with this now we feel the drag them up or now if you put them for here just there uh, whenever you make changes you go to press save and of course once you press save shopify will feel add the thing into your site so of course as we don't press save for here if we refresh the page it will increase it go add this faq and you see decide the load well well fast fast for us for here so so if we look for inside here into this product page it just say make we add products this now my product so i've just a product for sale uh can i say um shoot products so they don't give us generative text and if you use ai to run up so if i click this generative text um give this ai some keywords so make we just talk say okay um give me text for a shoe product on sale okay so i will just put that like this if you choose the tone where you want to use and also if you say special instruction where you want to do if you want to run but i could just say no special instruction just uh you know give me any text so i don't put that like that it don't give me this kind of text so i could just keep this text and just like that we they use this into our own product for here so all we need to do now just to follow all those little steps of course if you add media for here of your shoe i could just add this small image for here as a digital image no need to add percent picture or shoe or all those things but the idea is say i just want to show and say if you add that image and then if you put the price of it in one so if you say this one are like well 1k for this and if you even add the compared price say oh okay well, this now the price we will go use compare so if you just kind of like 5h and stuff like that and it will give you that amount for here so if you also talk the cost price and all this information where they put on top shopify now it will help you to we say 2h and then all these things now it will help you calculate the profits and how much they make as margin so it did very interesting to the work with shopify they don't help us do many things maybe say i know if you cover their finish i promise you guys i know fit <laughs> so uh you, you, you make me just leave that product like that um variants just may say we get different sizes and different colors and then um, you can see all these things also for woocommerce those of us one day we could do another video on woocommerce and wordpress and at that time we, we could come they much familiar with this but we just press it for here and we know they do any seo for here also and that will help us add that product for there and now with this product on day here we feel talk whether one sell them uh, to international people or one sell them to the nigerian market only so we just press save just to make sure say we don't save this product for here so if you come back here just press back you will see say we get this product for here and this is now our product where they here so every product we go day our store we feel they get them here and if you even um click here and if they do bulk edits and if they save as drafts if you import the product and if you export your products you go import as a csv file so because we know they import we know they do much for here we no need for us to import any products if you define demo products uh, if you drop link for the description for now another thing where if you do for here we say if you come into the collections now collections now just a collection of products anything where you gather gather together where you want to showcase together as a product than uh, the collection of that product okay first make it open now and if you look for inside the collection if you 
call this any collection where you want. So because we never add too many products for here, I don't go to explain how to sort these products out, but just know say you feel they use expressions to the add products for here. You feel they create your collections based on products where they here. And if you add image for the collection, like where you they use to the show, say, oh, this is not the Nike's collection. Oh, this is not the Abidas collection. Oh, this is not the Fengi collection. <laughs> All this kind of thing. All right. Make we go into the inventory. Inventory just means say now waiting there your inventory, waiting there your house, waiting there your warehouse, waiting there your shop, waiting you get to sell. So then I always inv wait inventory B. Your fee also get analytics, of course. This one will give you all the analytics about how much they sell for your website, how much money they make, how much you know they make. If they make naira, you go put on here. If you know they make naira, you go put on here. If you click on this online store, you go see say we get these themes. Themes now where we go, they choose different themes where we want. So if you choose three, four themes, if you add this theme, if you add this theme, if you add this theme, and you go they add to your site, if you even get more so if you just click here you'll see more things for here but they are not free most of them are paid than i want to and then uh, also if you want the blog so of course if they sell products one of the things today make your site very strong now for you to the blog to the blog about the products where they sell right so you could just come here create a new blog and if you create this new blog you go feel they run your own blog for here so we can click on add apps and this is we get different 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 apps for here so shopify don't give us all these apps and this now all developers just like you and i where they make all these apps or make all these things so page fly now one very popular one will be like page builder page builder will be say we feel the user and they build uh, our shopify store but not paid so some things are free some things are paid uh but uh, i i never use them in a very long time and if you use the, these things you will not go understand how shopify they work well, 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 well. so it's supposed to make life easier it's just like elemental builder but for shopify those of now be elemental from wordpress now so this one b and so if you add any of the apps for here or if you click the app store so nothing much where we need to stress ourselves for so make we go to the settings and for inside the settings tab make we scroll down a bit and make we see what we get so if you change the currency of course now don't say if you change the currency for there if you change the timing where you want and all those kind of things if you do for here for the store details for the plan now where you choose the time and um, plan where you want if you add your billing information customer permission your location the market your domain your brand you feel set up for here another thing where i for even like show now say if you do logos we say if you don't get any logo if you come to say i'll click this link hatchful and this site what they do is they, they help you they even they generate logo quick quick or they give you idea for your logo so if you just click on and you're going to choose any of the logos where you want for your shopify site so if you say they inside fashion click on if you say you want me the logo they bold click on uh if you give your name say niger shop and all these things now, tools we say Shopify don't give us. We say if we build this site fast, fast, you understand? So you see all these logos. If you pick any of these logos, say we won't pick for um, you know, understand. So just like that, we don't get an online shop. All right. Another one way I feel like showing make we go back into the edit and customizer. And what I want to say, I want to come back into the home page. And for inside this home page, make we change this image for here. So go click explore image and free images. And if you choose images from here, now all these images where they here, now Shopify they give all. So if you just say, okay, well, if you just come for men's fashion, if you just choose this guy, we choose this guy. And uh, you just say we get this uh, our image for here. If you change this text, if you still make a more uh, awesome, if you move them around, if you add some styles to them, and also if you want to add your own custom CSS, if you add your own custom CSS. So the idea is say you're supposed to be able to build, and when you feel build from all these things, then at that time you will come for the right code to the customize and the way you want build. So I hope say this thing don't explain given now. I know say I did move very very fast guys, but I hope say this don't already explain given now how on ourselves if they even they run your own Shopify store or how on a self even the the wrong client store we'll say if you run now um, you know get well so make I just click select for here so that it could just enter into design and make we save so that uh, I know say we don't save them here. Also if you define this kind of images another site where you check for images now this bust uh dot shopify dot com now Shopify get this site also and this site that they give you very very high quality images guys the images and uh, they bust my head like for example if you say you want something on business now you just come here click or if you search for here business it will give you any image where you get on business and they see the quality of these images then be high quality images not be just they can be an image not be those cartoon cartoon images. this is not professional images by people so no um no stress much about all these things shopify don't try to make life easier for all of us for here so now just to take all these tools build what we supposed to build and enjoy what we supposed to enjoy which now to cash out so i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video make gonna press the like button make gonna subscribe make gonna share this video make gonna give me a shout out i did every social media handle and uh, if you join our community you feel also um, share your problems with us like coding problems and uh, if maybe your personal problems and we go try help you with help once in a while 
now. But the idea is say you feel join us because we are a growing community. And I see say we don't pass 300 though. That's so. So as you don't pass that 3H like this, you just reach 301. As you don't pass that 3H like this, I'm very happy. I hope say this channel will grow and I will see you now for the next video.